thing about pheasants is there's not very much fat on them, so there isn't a whole lot of point, I don't think, unless it's like an absolute survival situation and trying to pluck it. It just takes ages and because there's so little fat you're not really getting much for all your efforts. So I like to skin them. Um, the way I skin a pheasant is pretty much I start with the wings. There's a soft piece of the wing here. I cut that away first. So I'm down to the, the join where the bone is. And then I just bend it back a little underneath. Just cut up. It's one wing off. Do the same on the other side. You know, you don't want to be breaking bone with your knife. You're generally doing something wrong if you're doing that. Next thing you do is got these long tail feathers. Yeah, quite decorative and nice, but makes life easier if you take them away. Next thing you do, follow the neck down. Roughly where you can feel it, you can feel it joining. Like about there. Cut round. Okay, spread its legs a little bit. And just round about where its stomach will be, grab a little piece of skin, just right there. And being careful not to nip the gut, put a little hole in there. Just enough that you can tear the skin. You can get like a finger in there. And when it comes to skinning the pheasant, you want to use your hands as much as possible rather than a knife. What I like to do is start by tearing the skin up to the neck, like so, exposing the breast. And then for each leg, I take the leg so it's like this, put my finger through it at the bottom, you can feel the gap, like so, okay, and I take the skin, I hold the leg, and I just give it a slight pull, break it away like that. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so that's the that's the legs out. And you want to do the same with the wings. It should be easier because it's smaller. It's the thing about game birds, is they're not always perfectly intact. Like you would find like a farm chicken or something. Because they've been shot in the air. And then they've crashed to the ground. And then they've been picked up by a dog. And then they've been chucked on the back of a trailer. And then they've been carried from that trailer. in a game bag maybe. And then hung. In my case in a garage. So they're not always in pristine condition. So you just have to work with what you get. And most most people feel the, the breast and they're looking for like a sort of big breast and then they, they choose their bird based on that but what I always look out for is to make sure that it hasn't been gut shot because 
you don't want the guts exposing in the meat because the bird is hung with the guts fully intact you know so you don't want any of the bacteria to be getting in amongst it anyway once the wings and the legs and the front end is completely exposed you should then be able to turn it around and the whole thing from the top will come off all the way down to here which is what's left of the tail now you can yank that and it'll come off but sometimes you can do some quite serious damage so from there I just cut it like so and there's the the whole skin Okay, so the yellow is what fat is on this bird, and it's not very much, which is why I don't think there's much point in spending a lot of time plucking it. Okay, here's what to do with the legs. Bend them back and forward a little. Make them a little bit loose. And see, pheasants are quite good runners. Which means the tendons in the legs of a pheasant are particularly strong. And they're not edible. You don't have to do this, but this I find is much, much better thing to do. What you do is you take where the leg bends here, take your knife, and you cut around it. You're not cutting the bone, you're just cutting the skin away. And then, bend it backwards, till you hear it crack, the knuckle's exposed. Okay. And then what you want to do is hold on to the leg so you don't pull it off. Hold on to the muscle of the leg, take the claw, hold it. Be careful of this because this could actually cut you. So I've got it between my fingers and hold it there and you want to pull it. Quite hard. And the whole tendon will come free like this. You can see it goes in a, you know, they go quite far in and they're not edible so you know you don't want to be chewing on that. Pull off the remainder of the feathers that are attached to the skin on the legs. Like so. Yeah, there's this thin membrane of skin right here. Okay. Take a knife. Make sure not to cut the inners completely. Just nick that a little. Okay. Now you've got a cavity. Put your hand fully right in to the top and draw out all of the inners. There you have it. Now there are some that you might want, you know. 
a heart and you've got the you know kidneys and the liver and things like that if that's what you also want completely cleaned Cut away that loose skin. Okay. There you have it. That's one pheasant.